Hey my friends, um, today's project we're going to learn about a uh, contemporary artist, an artist that's making artwork now. Uh, her name is Julie Meritu and she was born in Ethiopia and then but she lives and works in the United States but she has artwork all over the world. Um, she's a really successful famous artist. Um, and one thing you're going to notice about her work is she's another abstract artist. So her artwork doesn't necessarily represent something from real life. You're open to interpret it in many different ways. Um, but just because uh, it doesn't represent something exactly from real life doesn't mean that she doesn't use inspiration from the world around her. Uh, there's lots of interviews and videos of her working and interviews about her work where you can get a real sense for her inspiration um, and her methods. A lot of her work is really huge, like massive paintings. Um, and you'll notice that she doesn't do them completely by herself. She has a whole team of people that help her. Um, kind of like the artist Crystal Wagner that we were studying before, or you may um, study along with this artist. Um, but lots of times artists to accomplish something huge work with other people uh, for our drawing we're not going to do something huge although you can kind of make it um, the scale you want um, we're going to use paper and if you have large paper you can use large paper I'm going to use pretty small paper actually um, and you can uh, as far as drawing mark making use any kind of materials you want today so uh, you can start with a pencil um, but if you have a pen available or a sharpie or a whole set of markers or whatever you have available um, you can use them today um, another thing that is uh, in Julie Meritu's artwork that she claims to enjoy adding to her work is actually taking away she likes to erase so um, if you are using pencil and you make a mistake and you erase a little bit that's actually kind of um, using the similar method that Julie Meritu does she likes to erase even in her paintings you can't erase painting but she actually sands her paintings down so that the paint comes off the canvas um, and she considers that just as important as making the marks so uh, let's gather your materials if you need to pause it go ahead and pause it um, but let's give it a shot Hey everybody, so for this drawing we're going to try to uh, create something inspired by Julie Meritu and I've been really thinking hard about how to break this down into some steps that we could all follow um, even though all of our pictures will be different to something that would make us all successful um, and most artists I can figure it out pretty quickly how to guide my students through a drawing that'll kind of encapsulate the artist but this was really tricky and as I was kind of researching this artist I was listening to some interviews and reading about her and it seems like she is inspired by the work of architects and the city she lives in so I the first thought I had was to draw like an architect to get started with um, and I'm not too so I what I did was I drew kind of like a floor plan of my house but I wasn't I didn't really think too much about it I didn't go measure anything um, I just kind of thought my way through my house um, and so I just kind of started to sketch that out my back porch and my front porch my front door and I think for this drawing I'm definitely going to use a pencil and it'd be helpful if you had a pen or a sharpie marker or something as well and then maybe some colored pencils or markers or crayons after that and I do have some rulers and stuff that I can use but I realize not everybody has a ruler around their house so I'm just going to use a straight edge and I'm going to use this piece of paper. It's kind of a thick piece of paper but it's going to help me draw some straight lines. Um, and you can see I didn't use it for this part but you could. 
and I'm just going to start roughing in some of the things around my house. Um, this is a stairwell, so my stairs, I'm just, I don't know how many stairs are on my stairwell, but I'm going to just draw some lines like this. Okay, and door, table. Okay, so just like that, just a quick thought about my floor plan of my house, kind of like a map of my house, has already got me a pretty cool start to uh, abstract drawing. Um, now let's, I'm going to start thinking about some other elements um, that kind of make her artwork unique. And we're going to try to include as many elements of art as a focus as we can. So we definitely have line and we have some shape, rectangles and circles. Um, now <clears throat> I'm going to add a few more straight lines that are not part of my architecture drawing. I'm just going to start adding some straight lines. And I think I'm going to use a Sharpie for this part. There we go. And <clears throat> now I'm going to add some pattern and repetition. Now remember, I'm, I'm not drawing my house anymore. I just use that as a jumping off point. And now let's think about some texture. So I'm going to switch to a normal pen. I bet you have one of these around the house, just a normal writing pen, like a ballpoint pen. And I'm going to fill this rectangle. Ooh, maybe this pen doesn't work. Oh, there it is. Um, I'm going to fill this rectangle with some texture. Now visual texture is different than actual texture. So visual texture means if you touch it, you don't really feel a difference. It just feels like paper. But if you look at it, it looks kind of spiky or fuzzy or you can make it look bumpy. There's lots of ways of adding visual texture. I think it's one of the trickier elements of art to really get a hold of. Okay, now let's add, um, let's add some more shape. So I really like this circle. And I got more circles with the pattern, the repetition I added. But I'm going to add some organic shapes because these are regular shapes. And I'm going to start making some organic shapes. And I'm going to switch to a color now. So I don't have that many different colors, but you can use whatever you got. And I'm going to make just a freeform organic shape. And I'm going to color it in. And I'll do another one here. Let's talk about how you can make a sense of space in your picture, which is also another element of art that um, it's not always present in abstract work, but in uh, Julie Meritu's work, it definitely is. And without something like a horizon line, um, the sense of space is kind of tricky. But 
there's still similar rules apply. Um, so if you're making a pattern, and you can see how these like kind of cone shapes I started drawing, they go from big and get smaller and smaller. It kind of just gives the illusion, even though they're all on a flat piece of paper, it gives the illusion that they're going further away from us. And uh, something like this, overlap, which is a trick we all know. Watch, if I, I have this um, blue squiggle here, if I draw a black line over it, suddenly seems like it's in front because it's overlapping. Um, so also you can make lighter lines, so things that are lighter seem like they're further away, so all the stuff with the pencil kind of seems like it's further away than the stuff I made with the Sharpie marker, for example. So I'll make a circle right here with a pencil, then I'll make a circle right next to it with a Sharpie. And you can see how this one seems like it might be a little closer. You can really push that by making this circle bigger as well. And if you want to push it even more, make the purple, that circle so big that it overlaps the other one, then you really have a lot of ways of showing space. Okay, I'm going to give it a little more work, and then um, I want you to just go at it on your own. All right, I think that this could use a lot more work. I think I can keep going on this forever and ever and ever, but I can't make this video that long. So um, I'd love to see pictures of what you come up with. Um, I know it's going to look nothing like mine, but um, I'm just really interested in how this project's going to turn out. So if you want to, you can um, follow the link to um, the Google folder, Photos folder, and put it in there, and I'll check it out. All right, thanks for drawing with me.